Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Sonar Sewing Patterns channel. Today I'm bringing you a quick and easy gift idea using these letters. I got these letters from Craft House Supply. I'll link them below. And they are one inch tall, but the interior cutout is 0.75 inches. So I'm gonna show you how to make this one inch wide uh, clip. So that's like a key clip, or you can attach it on the inside of your bag and then attach your keys to this if you want to or whatever you want to use it for, um, but how to take these 0.75 inch letters and attach it to a one inch keychain. So I hope that you enjoy. To make this one, you need to cut out a the backing piece, 14 inches by two, and then this is the piece that's gonna lay on top and it's gonna hold the letters, and this is four inches wide by one and a half inches. And to get started, we're just gonna fold long edges in towards center and clip into place. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. And then now that I've got this all clipped and ready to go, I'm gonna go over to the machine and I'm gonna stitch around all four sides using a 1 8 seam allowance on both pieces. Got it all stitched. I added two lines down the center just as a, a visual interest detail and then that is stitched on the outside too. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the long piece up or wrong side up and I'm going to put double stick tape just down the center here. Ah, stuck. There we go. And then Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this to lay wrong sides together and meet up your two short edges. But before you do that, you do want to slide on your clip on one edge and your D-ring on the other. 
So now that I've got them, those on, I'm going to pull my double stick tape. And it doesn't really matter where your seam is as long as it's on this back side here. So there, that's what it looks like now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to thread our letters onto this top piece. But first, I'm just going to cut my corners like I always do. And if you wanted to, you could edge coat these short edges, do a fun color, or you can finish them off with glue. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to leave them. So you can see this four inches now will take up this whole length here. So I'm going to thread my letters. And about these letters, you'll see on the back that there's these little indentions, and that is to let you know that that is the back side of the letters. So just be sure to put that on the back as you're threading the letters on. And then I'm going to add another piece of double stick tape here. And then you want to make sure that your letters are where you want them to be because when you stick this piece on top of this piece, these letters are going to stick to this tape. And so you want to make sure that they are laying where you like them. And then you also want it to be centered oops, on both short edges. Ah. And then you just want to center it to the top side and the both, both of the short sides here. And then now to finish this guy off, I'm just going to eyeball and punch a hole here and mirror it on this side. It. Cool. And then now we just need to rivet this using our press. And there we go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want notifications for every time I post a video, be sure to click the little bell. Um, and other news, uh, not a lot going on over here, which is awesome news in, uh, you know, the wildness of the last year. So just getting back into vending and getting, um, you know, my my head back in the game because it's been a while. But anyways, I hope that you guys are all doing well. Stay safe out there. Be kind to one another and I will see you soon.